Oh, it's so good to have you home. Oh, it's good to be home. It's been too long. How's Dad doing? He's doing good. Wow, the house looks great, Mom. Oh, thanks, honey. You just make yourself at home. You know where everything is. And um, I have some errands to run and some things to do. Hello. Hi, honey. No, I, I plan on telling him. I just uh, want to choose the right moment. Hi, Grandma. Hi, Jim. How you doing? Oh, I'm doing good. And how about you? Great, great. It's been a long time. We definitely need to talk. Okay. How about some coffee? Let's do it. Okay. Great. How's school going, Jim? School's going well. Um, it's uh, it's crazy. I got two quarters left till I graduate. You know, until I'm out in the real world, and um, I don't know what I'm doing with myself. I gotta. Got to prepare for you know interviews and and uh, think about internships and that kind of stuff and and um, to be perfectly honest, I'm scared. I, I don't know what I'm gonna do with myself. Oh, don't worry. That's perfectly normal, natural. That's just the way it is mm -hmm. when you get to be this age. And I, I don't blame you. I'd be scared silly. But you know, um, we all have big decisions to make. When I was your age, I had just met the man that I wanted to marry. <laughs> And then the war started, the big one, the uh, World War II. Mm -hmm. And we had to make the decision about what we wanted to do. Did we want to get married and then he'd go off to war? Or did we want to wait? He'd go off to war and we'd wait and see if he came back. Mm -hmm. And we decided we didn't want to take that chance, that we wanted to have what time we could have together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we made the decision that we'd go ahead and get married, and he went off to war. He came back. Everything worked out fine. Yeah, yeah. But it's just, that's just an example of the fact that you have these big decisions, you have to make them, mm -hmm. and then, then you live with the results. Let me pour you some coffee here. See if I can pour without spilling. I'm not a very good coffee maker, Jim. <laughs> well, how are your relationships going, hon? Oh, well, <laughs> uh, I haven't had a relationship in a while. Um, right now I'm getting out of college and, and I don't really have a steady or somebody that I've met that I felt like uh, I can really be with. and. Uh, I'm worried, you know, work is going to come first now and, and social life will come second and, and there's going to be less and less time to meet people and, and uh, you know, I don't know if I'm going to meet that, that special one, you know, I'm kind of worried about that, but uh, what do you think? Oh, you have plenty of time, Jim. <laughs> you'll, you'll meet her down, you know, you'll meet the right one. You will. And don't rush it. Uh, that was the trouble when I was young. We, but that's the way it was. We rushed into it too fast before you really lived. You know, um, 
I was engaged when I met the fellow I was going to marry. So that gives you an idea of what relationships can be. Mm -hmm. uh, and I liked him a lot. But then I met this other fellow who was just right, you know. So I wrapped up the engagement ring and sent it back. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, we were married. The war came. And I was alone for several years. And then he came back and proceeded well. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh -huh. These days you talk about how everyone needs to have an open line of communication. Communication is uh, supposed to be a number one priority in the, in the relationship. And that's the, uh, the heart of a relationship. And the communication lines uh -huh. have to be open. Um, how, did, how was your relationship in terms of Well, that? you know, uh, this the talk of communication is all new talk, psychological talk about communicating. Um, on some things we communicated okay, but I, I wouldn't say our communication was real good because uh, men are different from women. It's hard for a woman to understand where a man's coming from and vice versa. Mm -hmm. But uh, there was one thing I did learn, Jim, that if he could put up with all of my little frailties and my idiosyncrasies and everything, I could put up with his. <laughs> and that worked out pretty good. Mm -hmm. Because when I'd get upset with him, then I'd think, now wait a minute, what am I doing that's upsetting him? And that, that straightened me out right away. Mm -hmm. So remember that. Uh, communication's fine, work at it, but just remember that you're different. And if, if she can put up with you, you jolly well better put up with her. <laughs> <laughs> can you remember that? I can remember that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. We've never really talked about what's, what happened with Grandpa. Um, I know that he, he died suddenly and, 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 and tragically. What, um, how did you feel after, you know, <laughs> after what happened? Well, it's uh, a lot of feelings. He was too young, way too young, first of all. And it was from a massive heart attack. And I knew that he was having trouble with his heart, so I had taken a course in CPR, thinking that I would be prepared. Mm -hmm. But when it happened, I wasn't able to save him. I tried. But uh, I, I thought I did all the right things. I think I did, but I wasn't able to save him. Mm -hmm. And that, uh, that's been the hardest thing to deal with. Mm -hmm. uh, because even yet I have this fleeting feeling that I should have been able to save him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, but at the time, uh, the doctor came to me afterwards and said, Mary, if I had been there, I wouldn't have been able to save him. Right. But then I think he was doing that, telling me that just to make me feel better. <laughs> so, but I, I did do all I could, and, and that's all we can do. With him dying so suddenly and after, you know, 38 years of being together, uh, what got you through? I mean, you, you know what happens? You're numb. Actually numb. For, for some time. Uh, um, they would tell me afterwards things I had said or done that I had absolutely no memory of it at all. Hmm. Because I, I think uh, God sort of protects you. The thing that's helped me, another thing that's helped me is the fact that when I'd get to feeling bad or when I couldn't handle something that came up, uh, I, I would stop and think, now, what would he want me to do? What would my husband want me to do? And that helped me immeasurably because it seemed like it would give me an answer. For one thing, he would feel really bad if he thought I were sitting around crying and, and feeling sad. He wouldn't mm -hmm. want me to do that. So I tried not to do that because I knew he wouldn't want that. Mm -hmm. When there were any big decisions, I would try to think the way he would think it through and what he would do, and then that's what I would do. Mm -hmm. and that really helped a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That. Uh, uh, Would uh, do you feel like he's so close by? Oh and yes. Part of you, or? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like heaven's very close. I feel like I could almost reach through mm -hmm. and touch him. I have to admit, you know, I'm I'm 
I'm kind of worried because you know I'm I'm getting older and and um, you only have you know a certain amount of limited amount of time with them uh -huh, and, uh -huh. and and you're afraid to be on your own you know you you you're scared to 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 live life without their guidance you know and 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 uh, I just don't know what I could do without mom or without <laughs> you and. What, 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 you you I, are, you're, you're given extra strength at that time. You truly are. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I can tell you that from experience. You're, you are given strength to handle things. And it's a part of life. Dying is a part of life. Mm -hmm. So a, as you get older, you learn to accept this. Mm -hmm. And you don't think of it with this terrible fear. Uh, It's uh, a rather welcoming thing if you have good faith. Mm -hmm. So uh, don't fret about it. Just know that when the time comes, you will get that strength that you need. Right, right. You feel like you can go on to a better place? It's mm -hmm. here. I sure do. Uh, plus, I feel like, you, you know, <clears throat> I'm going to get to see all the people that have gone. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think that's just going to be great. Uh, and so that's what you can you can think that someday uh, you know you'll see these people again, and that's going to be really really great. Uh, uh, I don't know whether uh, the story about the ship that sets sail, and the, the 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 person is on board and he looks back and the people are all waving goodbye. Right. And, you know, feeling a little sad because this person is sailing off. Mm -hmm. But look at it on the other side. Mm -hmm. Hear all these people saying, here she comes. That's the way I feel. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> well, it's been wonderful, wonderful talking with you. Oh, Grandma. good, Jim. It's been great. Really good, Jim. Really good. You're very special. Thank and you, I'll always be with you, Jim. Bye, Jim. I love you. Jim, I've been trying to find the right time to talk to you. There is no right time, but Grandma has passed away. Yeah, Mom, I know.